coming up is the March-April Gwinnie B rotation that I had. Sorry, it's a little bit late, but not quite as late as the previous ones were, so hopefully maybe I'm kind of getting on track. I'm really uh, happy to say that I am done with this semester of school, and I am taking the summer off, so... Uh, I won't be starting back up again until mid-August, and so I'm hoping that maybe at least for the next couple of months or so, the Gwinnie B postings will be a little bit more on time than they have been. Thank you for those of you who watch it and have waited patiently. I really appreciate it. I'm also going to try and experiment with the lighting a little bit now that I have some time. Uh, unfortunately, my apartment is a very dark uh, it has a lot of shade, which isn't a bad thing. I, it's very, very thankful for that during the summertime. But it does uh, prevent some natural lighting from helping with the filming. So I have a, like, studio photography light, which is what's shining over here on my face right now that I use in my room when I'm doing kind of general unboxings. Uh, but it's a little unwieldy, so I haven't brought it out into the living room to do any Gwinnie B filmings. And so now that I've got a little bit of time, I may try bringing that out to see if that helps with the lighting. Especially with the darker dresses, which I know is a little hard to, to see anything but the, the black on those when I am showing you those. So... We'll try it. We'll see what happens. We'll do a little experimentation with it, and hopefully you can give me some feedback on what you think. But in the meantime, let's get to the March-April clothing, and you can see what I tried during that time. Let me know if you tried anything that I showed and what your thoughts were on it. I'm definitely interested in seeing how these items play out with other people, especially the things that I either really, really loved or didn't like at all. Because uh, it's always a little interesting seeing how different people respond to those garments. So leave me feedback down below and enjoy. And we'll see you next month with hopefully at least a few changes embedded somewhere in. So you can let me know how that works out for you. Bye. Maritime Striped Tunic by Edition L in size 20W. Alright, so this one just arrived and I'm glad I decided to go ahead and try it on and do a quick filming because this one is definitely not going to be able to stay with me. Um, this is a button up, which I usually try to avoid because of the boobage situation. And every once in a while I like to give one a try to see if the boobage situation uh, changes because sometimes it does with certain cuts and styles, but alas! Not with this one, so it's too bad because the sleeves are comfortable and uh, I kind of like that aspect of it, but um, yeah, <laughs> this is actually a size up from what I normally wear in tops and for some reason, I don't know what it is, but even when I size up in tops, if it is a button up top, it just does not work for me. It just ends up gaping and showing off way too much. And there's just, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that one to work. So uh, I don't really think there's any point in trying to size up on this one. So this one's just going to go back and it's bound for one of you gals who doesn't suffer from this problem. Good luck. Jacquard Dress and Abstract Floral by Taylor Dresses in size 20W. This is kind of a basic uh, knit dress. It's not super heavy, so if you're still in that spring-winter uh, transition period, this might be okay for you. If you're in warmer weather, I'd probably steer clear of this now uh, because it is, um, it's not super thick, but it's definitely a sturdy knit. Uh, I would imagine anyone in you know 70 degree weather or warmer would probably be really warm in this unless you were indoors all day um it is a three-quarter sleeve and there's something about it that feels almost sweater like it's not really a sweater dress but the the actual feel of the knit is soft kind of like a sweater 
It's, uh, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's a pretty standard dress. If you're looking for, like, a basic knit dress, this might be a fun one for you to consider because it does have a little bit of visual interest with the, the gray and the white on here. Um, that is actually part of the fabric itself, but the design of it or the, the print of it almost makes it look like it's a lace. It's not a lace, but it kind of has that appearance of maybe lace over another fabric with the, the, the white and the gray patterning on it. So if you're kind of looking for a staple in your wardrobe, but you want to steer clear of just a plain basic black dress, this might be an option for you. It does have a zipper and a pretty sturdy one in the back. Uh, so it's pretty easy to get in and out of and yeah other than that I mean it's really basic it's really comfortable not anything I'm interested in keeping but I'll probably wear it one more time to the office before I send it back so something to think about stripe a-line dress by Sandra Darren in size 20w this one is super cute and even my boss really loved it uh, there's something about this dress that makes me think of Fleet Week, which is big here in the Bay Area. So I feel like I'm ready for some sort of nautical expedition. I wore this with some navy Mary Janes, and all I needed really was a pop of red, and I would have been totally, you know, patriotic navy all the way. So, um... I actually really, really enjoyed this one, and I'm probably going to hold on to it to wear it once or twice more before I send it back. It is a three-quarter sleeve, very comfortable, not constricting. <coughs> there is a zipper, uh, but I didn't need it. I was able to pull this over, but there is a zipper if you need the access to that. Um, it is a sturdy knit I would say uh, it's not heavy but it's definitely got a little bit of weight to it which is good because it is a light fabric and you don't necessarily want your underwear showing through it if are going to give this one a try I would say still steer clear of wearing dark underwear under this I would stick with lighter but you should be fine with doing that and the uh the denim up here, the denim accent is uh, definitely denim, but it's a very uh, soft, stretchy denim, so you're not going to have any scratchy feeling, and it's going to mold pretty well to, you know, your collarbone and, and lay pretty flat. So I found it really, really comfortable, very easy to wear, and it's definitely simple. For those of you who need to dress in a kind of more conservative way, maybe with your work environment, but fun with the stripe and the accent piece. And of course, you can accessorize the heck out of this one to add pops of color if you wanted to do that. So definitely give this one a try. This one got a thumbs up for me. Shift Dress in Blue Wave by Gabby Sky in size 22W. So even though this is a cold shoulder style, which I generally steer clear of uh, because I don't really like the cold shoulder thing, I did really like the colors on this and kind of the diagonal stripes, so I decided to go ahead and give this one a try. And it did end up being a miss for me because of the cold shoulder. And it's too bad because I like the dress otherwise. I think if it had been a solid sleeve or a sleeveless, shirt or dress or even if it had been a split shoulder instead of a cold shoulder you know if the seam had gone all the way down I might have enjoyed this one a bit more but the cold shoulder design on this one was really kind of annoying I think it might have something to do with this fabric uh, this is kind of a thicker knit as opposed to some of the more drapey fabrics that the cold shoulder style usually kind of caters to. Um, and because of that, the cold shoulder here, it's rounded and there's a seam around the actual frame of it, so to speak. Uh, and because of that, for me at least, maybe it's just my body, but it sits very oddly on my shoulder. 
so as I'm kind of sitting there, you know, typing at work or whatever, I just feel like these, these, you know, openings are just gaping and yeah, it was just uncomfortable. It was, made me very self-conscious and just, yeah, I kept feeling like I needed to tug things into place on this dress so it was kind of a shame because I really do like the colors of this uh, it does have a zipper not fully down the back but mostly down the back and it is like a stainless steel so it's you know it's a visible zipper it's not a tone on tone I didn't need it I was able to pull this on over my head but you know yeah I'm kind of disappointed I did like the spring colors on this one but meh Wore it once, sending it back. Short sleeve floral techno fit and flare dress by London Times in a size 2X. I actually like this one a lot. Uh, the colors are very vibrant and there's a lot of them. So if you're not a colorful person, this might be a little jarring when you uh, try to wear this one. But I actually thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of spring colors on this. It's a London Times, which for me fits really, really well. I enjoy London Times fit on me. Uh, good length on it. The mid section is um, kind of a twisted ruching, so it's not separate from the actual dress, but it almost looks like it's a separate belt component. And I found that to be comfortable and pretty flattering for myself. Uh, it's got kind of a blouson almost style in the top, so it does have a little bit more fabric up here. So if, if you're trying to not draw attention to your upper area, to your bust, this might not be the best one for you because it does add a little bit more fabric and kind of ballooning in this area. I find it to be pretty comfortable, but you know, just bear that in mind if you want to give this one a try. There is a zipper, but it's a pretty thin one. Uh, it's not uh, in your face and it definitely blends into the fabric. And I ended up not needing it. I could just pull it over my head. So uh, the, the, sh the sleeves are short, but not too short. So your upper arms are still covered and there's some looseness in it. So the fabric itself is kind of stretchy. So if you have larger upper arms, uh, hopefully this won't be constricting for you. Uh, again, I found it very comfortable. Uh, and the fabric is pretty lightweight, but it's not sheer. So if you don't want to wear, you know, heavy undergarments underneath it, you shouldn't have to. Uh, you'll still be pretty well covered. So I actually like this one a lot. Um, you know, of course, as you know, I... I tend to get bored with uh, clothing pretty quickly, so it's not something that I'm interested in keeping long term. Uh, but I am, you know, probably going to wear it maybe one more time before I send it back. I've worn it twice so far. And uh, it's been kind of a nice, you know, change in the office from the blacks and the grays that a lot of other people wear. It's been kind of a nice little spot of color as the seasons are changing into more colorful clothing. So it definitely hits that mark. Sunny Petals Lace Up Top by Style & Company in size 2X. So I don't know how much of the sheerness of this blouse is going to come through on film. Uh, I am wearing a black and white bra under this, so I'll have to kind of see in the editing whether or not you can tell. You can kind of see like my jeans through the blouse a little bit below, so uh, you get a little bit of an idea of the sheerness of this. It's not too bad, but I definitely would recommend if you are going to wear this without like a camisole or tank top underneath it, that you probably want to go with like a natural or light colored bra underneath because darker colors are definitely going to come through. Uh, the blouse itself is pretty comfortable. I was pretty happy with it in terms of uh, just comfort level, where it fits me, how it fits me. Uh, it's a pretty simple um, elastic gathered sleeve. There's no ties, there's no buttons to mess with. 
the um, even the lace up on the front is pretty simple and it doesn't dip down too low so if it ends up coming untied you don't have to worry about you know showing things that you don't necessarily want to show it's a pretty basic kind of peasant style um, blouse and for people who are looking for those seasonal transitional pieces, this might be a nice one for you. Uh, I was thinking that the yellow was going to be a little bit sunnier than it was. Uh, it definitely fades a little bit more into the mustard range than a sunshine yellow. So that was kind of a, a little bit of a disappointment for me. I thought it was going to be a little bit brighter. This isn't necessarily my most flattering color, so uh, I did end up wearing it a couple of times to work with just some slacks and, and some slip-on shoes, and it was pretty comfortable with it, but uh, the color, color's kind of throwing me off a little bit, so it wasn't something that I was interested in keeping long-term in my in my closet, so I'm going to go ahead and send it back, but I mean, it's a, pre it's a pretty decent basic piece. Uh, if you're looking for, you know, something kind of casual but can be potentially dressed for work uh, to add to your wardrobe, this might be an option to explore because it is kind of nice. And the colors on it, even though it's a little bit more muted than I would have expected, it would be a good uh, spring into summer piece but also uh, summer into fall because of the kind of the mustard color would be uh, a nice end of season piece too especially if you live in an area where that transition of weather is very gradual so think about that long sleeve sweater dress in gray by Kenzie in size 2x so this is uh, labeled as a dress and it's you know a decent length but for some reason I just felt like this was way too short to wear it as a dress. I wasn't really comfortable with wearing it that way. And I think part of it has to do with the fact that it's a softer, thinner knit. So it's it definitely feels very lightweight. And I just, I don't know, I felt like it was a little skimpy for me to wear it as a dress by itself. So I ended up wearing this with pants and just wearing it as like just a really oversized sweater. It's pretty comfortable, it's very soft and very floofy. So for a couple of rainy days, it was really nice just to kind of have something to snuggle into. It really does kind of feel like you're just snuggling into a blanket. I wore it to work one day and I wore it uh, on the weekend to the movies and you know, I kind of felt like I was wearing my pajamas. So uh, the color is a light gray and it's pretty unobtrusive and uh, pretty basic. The only thing that I did find kind of annoying more on the work side than on the, you know, personal living side were the sleeves. Uh, the sleeves are definitely an oversized variation of the bell sleeve and they're huge, <laughs> as you can probably tell. So uh, trying to work with this was a little difficult because I had a lot of this going on, a lot of wings going on during work and you know when you're trying to eat and feed the cats their gloopy uh, seafood type uh, cat food and the sleeves kind of get into things and you're constantly doing this and so that got kind of annoying pretty fast so that would be one reason why I wouldn't want to hold on to this if the sleeves weren't quite so oversized this might be something that I ended up keeping just because, again, it's super, super comfortable and just wearing this to snuggle into is nice. But uh, the sleeves are annoying enough that this needs to go back. So just be aware of that when you try them, uh, especially if you are wanting to wear this and you have a lot of activity in your life. The sleeves may end up being a little bit cumbersome. So think about that. Pleated V-neck top in dazzling blue by Ella Key in size 1820. The color on this one is slightly less vibrant in person than it is on screen, so I was mildly disappointed when I got it. Uh, it's not bad, it's just it was 
a bit more into kind of a muted royal blue versus kind of the bright sapphire that it appeared on my on my computer screen. Now obviously computer screens will different or color saturation will be a little bit different. So when I opened up the box and it wasn't quite as, you know, in your face blue as I thought it was going to be, it was a little bit disappointing, but it's still very saturated and for you blue lovers, this is probably a really nice color. Uh, the pleating on this, both front and back, makes this really, really comfortable and um, it has a slight sheerness to it, but with the pleating, it definitely helps to hide anything uh, from being too see-through. So if you don't want to wear something other, under this, like a camisole or a tank top or something like that, you don't have to. Uh, I certainly didn't. The pleating definitely helps hide that. Uh, it is an elastic or a wristband, so it's very, very comfortable in terms of the sleeves. There's nothing very constricting. Uh, I think the fact that the pleating goes uh, front to back and has kind of this little yoke on here uh, felt a little strange at first, like the seaming is hitting me in a weird spot on the shoulders. It's not uncomfortable, it's just weird. So I had to kind of get used to that. And as you can tell, it's a really large blouse. Um, so for those of you that try to avoid things that are tent-like or super, super large, uh, take a look at your sizing options and take that into consideration because as you can tell, this is really, really just kind of large and flowy for me. I like that because with my work um, environment, I'm at my desk on the phone a lot, but I'm also running around the building a lot. So having something kind of just really loose and flowy that I don't have to fix or fidget or fuss with all the Fs, um, that really kind of suits my lifestyle most. So I found this to be a very easy wearing. I decided I was only gonna wear this one once before sending it back because I wasn't as thrilled with it as I thought I was going to be. And uh, some of the seaming on the inside, um, what they call it, placket, on the inside is, is coming a little unraveled. So that's a little messy in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this one back. Asymmetrical shoulder ruffled fit and flare dress by London Times in 2X. This one's a little bit more of like a summer dress kind of feel than I was expecting from the picture. I'm not really sure why my perception of it was different than the reality. Uh, I guess I think somewhat of the picture, I thought the sleeve was a little bit broader uh, with the shorter side and I thought that it was a little bit uh, thicker of a knit so uh, when I had initially closeted it I thought maybe it would be a good kind of transitional piece for going into spring and now that I have it on it's definitely feeling a little bit more like a summer dress for sure the tropical vibe gives it that the ruffle gives it that and of course the the deep neckline and <clears throat> in the skin that it's showing um, I don't mind that, it's just now I'm trying to figure out <laughs> when I'm going to be able to wear it because it's not quite warm enough for this yet. Um, and it's really not something I don't think that I would want to wear to work unless it were like midsummer. Maybe I would do it then. But yeah, I like it. It's just, it's kind of thrown me off a little bit. It's a London Times and as you probably know, if you've watched my other videos, I'm a fan of London Times and the way it fits me. So I'm pretty comfortable with it. And I kind of like the kind of off kilter flounce and how it just adds some interest to the dress. I'm not necessarily a favorite style of mine. I wouldn't seek this out, but it's kind of fun. The colors are pretty, it's pretty lightweight. So it definitely feels like a warm weather dress. If I were going to Hawaii or if I were doing something like that, I would definitely want to bring this one with me. Right now I'm thinking I have a barbecue coming up over the Cinco de Mayo weekend, so maybe I'll try and wear it then if it's warm enough. So, um, 
Yeah, I mean, it's kind of fun. It's definitely vacation worthy. So if you have a vacation planned in warm weather and you'd like to wear just kind of a festive, fun summer dress that's a little bit different than your standard kind of tank dress, then this might be something fun for you to consider to do a little dancing on a beach somewhere.